I was born in Moscow. But I remember nothing of that time. I was just an infant when the old world was destroyed in the flames of nuclear fire. I, along with 40,000 others, were saved by retreating to the metro stations deep under the city. Now, 20 years had passed, and going up into the embrace of an endless winter was left to a few brave souls. The metro was our home and our fortress against the nightmarish mutants who roamed the tunnels. Still, we never gave up hope that we would return to the surface. But one day, a new thread appeared, and we found ourselves in a war to determine the very existence of our species. Hey viewers and welcome to Let's Play Metro 2033. A game that kind of slipped under the radar, sort of kind of. Uh, it's an FPS with distinct survival horror elements. And I for one am a huge fan of survival horror dating all the way back to oof, Resident Evil 1 on the PlayStation. Now again there's probably games that go further back than that in terms of survival horror, but that's one of my first experiences. It's a really good game, and I've wanted to play it for a while, and finally got the machine to do it. And we're gonna get going. Just gonna check. M from Not gonna check that. Sorry, viewers. Focus. I'm just gonna make sure all my options are set here. Looking good. Okay, so it's a very, very grim intro. We begin. Now, one thing of note. These two modes have arrows next to them because they are downloadable difficulty levels. Easy, normal, hardcore, fairly straightforward. Ranger hardcore, well, this is an entirely different animal. And actually, I haven't done this, so I'm not playing the game itself blind, but I haven't played this difficulty before, and I have beaten it on hardcore. Here we go. Warning, you are about to begin a new game in Metro 2033 Ranger Hardcore Mode. This mode provides the ultimate challenge and is recommended for experienced players only. Maybe this is a bad plan. To create a more intense and realistic simulation, Ranger Hardcore Mode has no HUD, hints, or crosshair. Ammo is visible only in the weapon itself or while viewing your journal. Additional rounds are scarce, enemy attacks are more relentless and more devastating, you will not survive. He's probably right. The tunnel grew colder. Millie and I were close to the surface now. Soon, we'd climb up into the howling wind to find our way through whatever nightmares were waiting there. My long journey was nearly at the end. But would I have the courage, the will, to see it through? Time to find out. Hey, Artyom. When you left your home station, did you ever think we'll end up in a place like this? Not knowing whether we were about to save our world, or send it straight to hell. Gotcha! Ooh. We'll have to get through the military outpost to reach the surface, Artyom. Тихо, тихо, тихо. Something's moving in the next room. Open the gate, I'll cover. And yes, for those of you who didn't figure it out from the intro, uh, this does actually take place in Russia, specifically in the subway slash metro underneath it. Shit is always breaking down in here. Use the auxiliary hand system to open the gate. Well, this game is loaded with atmosphere, and I might not... Artyom, check those crates for ammo and med packs. I might not talk as much as I usually do. 
just because everything there's so much to look at and so much to listen to. Ready, Artem? Follow me. I have bullets now. All the lights that I just turned on. Okay. Up we go. Mm -hmm. Seems like nobody's home. Before we the surface, put your gas mask on. Without it, it'd be like a goldfish outside his door. Ah, yes. Room is there. This is the Karolyov performance room. It's really close to the tower. So, here's my inventory journal, showing my weapons. So I have 13 rounds in my weapon here. So, that's how much time I have left in my filter before I start to suffocate and die. Oh, no military grade. A good weapon. Suki, here they come. He can handle it himself. Headshots matter, viewers. It's because I have no extra ammo for this gun. Because we're playing on Please, Ranger Hardcore. Give it the pool. Okay, okay. Ready? Let's move out. If anyone's curious, the voice actors in this are Russians. So if you have a problem with the accent, don't. The tower. Come in, women. Come in. Go there. They're coming through loud and clear. Over. What at the tower? I repeat, what at the tower? Did the group move out? Over. Now well, that's affirmative. We've made contact. They should be in the vicinity of the tower now. Over. Roger, we'll contact you again when we're at the top of the tower. Get a fix on our location then. Over. You hear him twice because he's on the radio and right in front of you. Nice little touch. Long barrel revolver. Mounted gun there. Let's look at the atmosphere. Glad to see you, Colonel. Did you hear that? Listen. What the hell is it? Your okay, okay. okay, okay. Looks like it's gonna be tough in the night. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Unfortunately, things usually face you head on, so. the wall here. Oh, what the? That ammo. Oh! That's like a full 180. 360. Oh, crap.
Life was never easy in the tunnels, but it was our home. There was comfort in its routines, in seeing the same people day after day. But since the mutant attacks had escalated, fear ruled the station. I had just turned 20, and could never have imagined what would follow in the morning that my stepfather's friend Hunter arrived at the barricade. And that was her prologue, so back to the beginning of the game, viewers. Artyom, you wake at last, I see. Hunter's on his way in. He should have news from the other stations. Come on. There's Artyom's dad. So, a couple more things before we take a quick break since we're just finished the prologue here. Much of this game is interactive, for example. That'll come important when you're trying to be stealthy. Also... have one of those yet. Well, let's just keep going for a little bit let's further. Let's go, Artyom. One thing that's really amazing about this game... I know it's worse, and I'm not giving up. What's your plan for the dark? Hand them all down and shoot them. That's how it goes, bro. Hello, Artyom. So as I was saying, you can talk to a lot of people in this game. The station can't survive much longer if these attacks don't stop. We must do something. <sighs> what more can we do? So no conversation yet, but... The Dark Ones will kill us all. I'll wait to have a positive attitude, man. Let's see what Hunter says. Sergei, have you seen my Sergei? Hello, Artem. Another patrol was attacked last night. The hospital's full. The situation's under control. Many want to leave the station. What about Alexei? He was at the outpost. Yeah. Alexei was in the battle. Has anyone seen him? Mommy, do we need to break down? Let's go, Artyom. I hope he's alive. So yeah, this game does an amazing job of studying the atmosphere. The situation's under control. Pieter! My brother is in the hospital. Oh, that's you! I almost say. They won't do it. Doctor hasn't said anything. I don't know what to do. This was the third time. So, yeah, you can talk to people for those little white flashes, or morale points, and depending on whether you have good or bad ones, that influences which ending you get. And we're going to try for the good ending, but it's tricky. Uh, not much improvement. Two died this morning. The Dark Ones do not kill outright, but they damage a victim's mind. Sooner or later, this leads to death. God, when will this ever end? I can't take it anymore. Alive, but not very. Yeah, people aren't doing so well, to say the least. The Dark Ones are the new menace haunting the metro. Can't. 
I can't get it. Uh, I, I can't, I, I can't reach. Um... No, keep away from me. Now, eagle-eyed people will notice that this guy here, he was our close-up zoom during the intro movie. One of the guys shooting back, so that video we saw actually just happened. What the hell? Who could that be? It's Hunter. Mutants don't knock first. Open the damn gate. Welcome to Exhibition Hunter. Thanks. Now closer, Git. It's been a long time, Hunter. Good to see you, Alex. Hello, Artyom. So, Hunter, what's happening in the outside world these days? Not much. Most of what I hear is about the Exhibition and the undead infesting your tunnels. Hmm? Artyom, I met a trader selling old postcards of New York City. I thought of your wall. These are not the usual mutant creatures. This is something else. What the something hell? much worse. <laughs> Dark ones. Well, whatever in hell they are, my order has a motto. If it's hostile, you kill it. Intruder alarm in the main vent shaft. They're coming in from above. Shit. Just what we needed. There are wounded here just behind the wall. The hall. Kirill, take your group to the tunnels. Alex, a... we must stay here and defend the hall. All right, our team, go, quickly go, go. get a weapon. Time for our first taste of action. Damn, they never come this far into this station. So it's the hospital. They smell the blood. Six rounds and two to spare. I'll try and conserve these viewers. Hunter is a badass. Make no doubt about it. Plus, they've entered an ammo, so... Tough, but they're not that tough. See? They did most of the hard work. Are you alright? There's been a single round. Of course. He's a dead eye shot, this one. That <laughs> with my knife. No dark ones here. Just the usual tunnel trash. Even when you don't see them, the dark ones are there. Fear. That's their weapon. That's what made the Nosoluses run through the tunnels like rats. The dark ones are not simple mutants. They're Homo novice, the next step in evolution. You've heard about survival of the fittest? Guess what? We lost. What's happened to you, Alex? You can go like lambs to the slaughter. I'll hang on to whatever life I got with teeth and claws. And I'll take more than a few of your homo novice with me to hell. 
You think you're some old movie cowboy? Have a look, Hunter. Ten soldiers, trained in combat. Their bodies broken, their minds gone. The Dark Ones, they destroyed the outer guard post. I must go recon the situation. Listen carefully, Atyom. If I'm not back here by morning, you must get to police station and find a man named Miller. Tell him what's happened to me, and what's stirring in the northern tunnels. Show this to Miller, so he knows I've sent you. I trust everything to you, Artyom. Don't let me down. If we are to survive, this threat must be eliminated, no matter the cost. Eliminated. Understand. Hunter did not return. It wouldn't be easy to find an excuse to leave the station and travel to Polis, but I had given my word. I learned that the caravan was heading to Riga the next day and needed guards assigned on for the ride. Воз, не стучите колеса. Кондуктор, нажми на тормоза. Well, finally, taking your time as usual, huh? All right, grab your gear, go to the platform. They're waiting for us. I'll meet you there. Hey, Artyom, don't forget anything, huh? Вот что, спиривертоцы, бабушка здорова. Вот что, спиривертоцы, куча ед компот. Guys in pretty good mood. So we now have a couple of things. I think you got everything here. Let's see here. There we are. So we've got our journal. Get to Pola Station, find a ranger named Miller, describe the situation at, the exa at Exhibition, and more importantly, get some equipment from the Armory. And we got a lighter there. And a nice little compass. Keeping in mind, though, that the lighter will attract attention for bad guys. Alright. Excellent, I still kept my ammunition. Good stuff. So I have 14 dirty rounds, and then the rounds you see there in gold are military grade ammunition. They are not only really powerful bullets you can use to shoot them at, at enemies obviously, but they're also your currency in this crap sack world. So if you want to use your high grade ammo against people, you're actually killing them with money. And quick morale point, and I think that's it for now viewers. So, we've wrapped up the prologue, and when we come back, more Metro 2033. Thank you for watching, and We'll see you next time.